I'd rather have him than riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus. Blessing to you. Pray and hope you're doing well. Pray and hope everyone in your family is doing well also. Let us continue to pray one for another, especially the elderly ones, those who are sick and shut in, our children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Also, let us continue to pray for those who are grieving the loss of loved one. Pray that God will continue to strengthen them and comfort them in their time of bereavement. So, what I want to share with us today is from 1 Kings chapter 17. And it's just a reminder that the God that we put our faith and trust in, that he will provide for us. When time seems hard, God is a provider for his children. David said in one of the Psalms, I was young and now I'm old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor received begging bread. So long as we walk up right before God, God will provide for us. So when we look at chapter 17 of First King, we find the prophet Elijah, uh, who God had come on to go to the brook Cherith. And there he would provide for him. He will drink from the brook, water from the brook. But he will also send bread and meat to him every morning and evening by a raven. And after a while, the brook had dried up. And God said for him to go eastward, that he will provide for him, that he will command, that he had command a widow woman to provide for his servant, Elijah. So when we read from verse 8, he said, Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Arise, go to the go to Zarephath, which belonged to Zion, and dear dwell, see, I have commanded a widow woman, a widow dear to provide for you. So he arose and went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, indeed a widow was there gathering stick, and he called to the her and said, Please bring me a little water in a cup that I may drink. And as she was going to get it, he called to her and said, Please bring me a muzzle of bread in your hand. So she said, As the Lord your God lives, I do not have bread only a handful of flour in a bin and a little oil in a jar. And see, I am gathering a couple of sticks that I may go in and prepare it for myself and my son, that we may eat it and die. So here we have this widow woman was gathering stick uh, to go to prepare this little bit of uh, flour that she had and oil to bake a cake, most likely, and for her and her son that they will just eat it and die because there was nothing else for them to eat. So that's all they have and that's all they was going to uh, prepare for them to eat and die. And verse, 10, verse 13 said, and, El and Elijah said to her, Do not fear, go and do as you have said, but make me a small cake from it first and bring it to me. And afterward make some for your, yourself and your son. So here we have this widow woman saying that she have a little bit of flour and a little bit of oil to make a cake for her and her son to eat and die. But here the, the man of God is saying to her, for, for her to prepare for him first. And in her obedience, she didn't say, no, I'm just going to, this is all I have is just for me, from, you know, for me and my son. She said that at first, that it was just for her and her son to eat and die. But as he commanded her to make him a piece of cake first and bring it to her, she did not say no. She wouldn't do it. But she went ahead and did as he asked her to. And verse 17 said, verse 14 said, For thus said the Lord God of Israel, The bin of flour shall not be used up, nor shall the jaw of oil run dry, until the day the Lord send rain and the earth. So she went away and did according to the word of Elijah, and she and, and she and he and her household ate for many days. 
the bin of flowers was not used up, nor did the jaw of oil run dry, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke by Elijah. So here we have her putting her faith, not even so much in Elijah, but the word that he spoke from the Lord. He said for her to go and make him a cake first. How many of us would have done that? To go and make a stranger come ringing our bell. We have a little bit of flour. That's all we have left and a little bit of oil. And the stranger said, make me a cake first. How many of us would do that? We would like probably turn that person our way. And sometimes we do not know that angel uh, come in the form of a stranger. Someone might just show up at our, at our door asking for something. It might be that's all we have left remaining and it's for us to give that person. We will find it very hard. She did not find it very hard to do that for the man of God. She did it and they said that that bin of, of, of flour did not uh, use up. A little bit of oil did not cease but it continued to provide for them for many days. For many days, that little bit of flour and that little bit of oil uh, sustained them for many days until it rained. We do not know how long those many days are, uh, but we know that it didn't rain for what, three and a half years. So just imagine that for over three years, that little bit of oil and that little bit of flowers uh, provide for these uh, three because it was Elijah and her, and her son. So whatever we are going through, just continue to put our faith and trust in God because God will make a way for us. He will send someone to provide for us. He is a provider. So don't lose heart. Don't give up. Continue to trust God. Continue to put your faith in God and knowing, knowing that the God that you serve, the God that you put your faith in, He's a provider. He will provide for you. He did for me. He will do for you. He did it for others. He will do for you. As long as we are walking upright before Him, as long as we are serving Him with all our heart, mind and soul, He will provide for us. So don't give up. Continue to trust God. God provide for this widow woman and her son for many days. Provide for his servant for many days. See, God used a raven to bring him bread and meat every morning until that brook dried up. We do not know how long the brook was there uh, for him to drink water from. It could be a year. It could be two years. It could be uh, to the latter part of uh, the end of the drought. But God provide for him each and every day. And if he did it for Elijah, he will do it for us because he is the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. God do not change. So continue to trust God and he will provide for you. Don't lose heart. Even when it seems like there is nothing in your house, trust God and he will send someone he will send someone to provide for you, to make a way for you. So don't lose heart. Continue to trust God. Let us pray. Eternal, most righteous, Heavenly Father, we thank you for who you are, that you are a provider. That you, O oh God, will even send a raven to provide for your servant. God, a raven, bring bread and meat every morning for your servant, Elijah. And as, he have done it, as you have done it for Elijah, God, you would do it for us as long as we put our faith and trust in you. As long as we walk upright before you, O oh God, you will do it for us. As the psalmist reminder said, I, have, I was young and now I'm old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor received begging bread. So, Father God, we know, Father God, that you will provide for your children. Everyone that walk upright before you will provide for them. God, even when it seems like is that the last moment, dear God, you will send someone, oh God, just in the nick of time, oh God, to provide for your people. So we thank you, oh God, that you are a provider. We thank you, oh God, that you are a sustainer 
Oh God, we thank you, oh God, for your promise, oh God. You see, you will never leave us nor forsake us. God, you said that you will never leave us nor forsake us. So we are grateful that we serve the true and living God. A God that hold to his word. A God that keep his word. God, a God that cannot uh, break his covenant. Because your promise is a covenant unto us, dear God. That you will make a way for us when it seems like there is no way. So we thank you, O God. We thank you, O God, for this reminder, O God, that you are a provider in the time, O God, of when it hard times, O God. We thank you, O God, and we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. And even now, God, we lift up our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. God, we lift up all those who are sick, O God, those who are elderly, O oh God. We lift up those who are grieving the loss of loved one. We pray right now, God, that you'll be a comforter to each and every one, that you provide, O oh God, that you, O oh God, will protect, Father God, that you heal and deliver, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Many are going through different struggles right now, God. Many are battling different illness, O oh God, whether it be a heart problem, kidney problem, Father God, whether it be backache, O oh God, whether it be a vision problem, O oh God, whatever the problem is, O oh God, we know that you are a healer. And Father God, so I ask that you send healing virtue even now, God, to your children, O oh God, to your people, O oh God. Father God, those who, O oh God, cannot find a job, O oh God, Father God, help them to continue to trust, O oh God, and put their faith in you because you will provide a job, O oh God, for them, O oh God. Help them not to give up, O oh God, but to continue to search, O oh God, to seek, O oh God, until you open a door for them, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, remember, O oh God, our, O oh God, elderly ones, one more time. Pray that you will touch and strengthen them, Father God. The saying is, once a man, twice a child, Father God. And many a time we see, O oh God, where the elderly ones, O oh God, need someone to assist them, O oh God. So I pray right now, God, that you send the right Oh God, assist them to help them, Father God, in their elderly age, Father God, to encourage them, O oh God, to strengthen them, O oh God, to sit by them, to stand by them, to walk with them, O oh God, and for them, O oh God, just to be encouraged, O oh Father, in you. So, Father, we thank you for all that you have done and what you are doing. In your Son, Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Stay blessed. Have Jesus, then see.